Medicine Hat Cubs are undefeated on home ice, 1-0 after a 7-2 victory last weekend on home ice against the Coldale Copperheads. I got something in my throat. <laughs> Good evening, welcome to uh, CubsHockey.com. I'm Dave Dawson from Shot Television. Medicine Hat Cubs and the Red Deer Vipers. The first meeting of the year between these two teams. They'll play twice, one more time in January as we get ready for O Canada. We're underway at the Kinplex in Medicine Hat. Some uh, technical difficulties along with the, uh, the sound system, so we'll have to bear with that uh, for those in the building tonight. But you're not. You're listening online. Thanks for listening. Medicine Hat Cubs and CubsHockey.com. Dave Dawson here from Shaw Television. Glad, uh, glad to be joining you again for the second uh, weekend in a row. Medicine Hat Cubs last Saturday, 7-2 to two victory over the Coaldale Copperheads, who have now lost three games in a row on the Cubs side of things. They are 1-2, and two, losing 6-3 to three in High River last weekend after winning 7-2 to two over Coaldale and then a 2-1 to one loss in Cochrane to open up the Heritage Junior B Hockey League season. The first of two meetings between these two teams. Next time the meet is all the way on January 25th as we are underway. Cole Schaefer between the pipes for the Cubs. That's Kyle Grant behind the net. Tries the wing pass. And uh, Captain Flokowski gets knocked down and Funk gives chase. Red Deer Vipers going to broadcast right to left in the silver and black. On the left wing side is Chris Robertson. A shot on uh, Mr. Schaefer. And he gobbles that one up. The Vipers are 1-1 one and one on the year. As mentioned, Medicine Hat Cubs are 1-2. Uh, and two. Had a great chat with head coach Jason Bartram before the game about uh, how he feels his team is going this year. And he said he's got a young squad, so it's a work in progress. But going to be using a lot of speed to beat teams this season as Vipers win the draw battling behind and Flokowski's going to try and get that out around the boards and he will that could go the distance for 
an icing call, and that is where it will go. Red Deer is 3-2, uh, to two, lost to Cochrane on the road, and then they won 6-4 to four over Stettler in their home opener last weekend. As I mentioned, pardon me, the Cubs, a 2-1 loss to Banff on the road, the first one, 7-2 to over Coaldale, and a 6-3 to three loss to High River last weekend. As head coach Jason Bartram feels they had that game, but they got undisciplined in the third where it got away from them. Vipers have a chance here, and it hops over a stick into the neutral zone. Right wing side's going to be... Mitch Heller, who had a pretty good game here last weekend in the 7-2 win over Coldale. Can't keep it in. The Vipers are out. Austin Galpo go back there to pick it up. Schaefer leaves it for him. A weird pass off the boards, and Heller's going to pick it up. Left wing pass up there for Fury. Two on three, just kind of dumps it in behind. Ben Fury, good back check there, or good forward check, rather. Active stick, couldn't get the puck away, and the Vipers will put it out. Bartram makes a change. Tanner Barton dumps it in. Around the boards, Jade and Adrian between the pipes for the Vipers. Cubs battling for possession, and the Vipers will bring it out through center. One-on-one -on -one play here down the wing, and... Shot for Stevenson goes wide. Cubs can't keep it. Had a, had a huge outburst in the second and third period of goals last weekend. Coldale started out as the aggressors, and the Cubs' first 10 minutes were pretty nervous, and then finally once they settled in, they were able to open up the floodgates. Maybe that'll happen here again this weekend as the puck goes beyond Stevenson. He bumps his man. Pulver Macker on defense played big minutes here last weekend. As he keeps it at the blue line. Kyle Grant opposite him and a shot from the point, but Pulver Macker is easily saved by Jaden Adrian. Kyle Grant is a guy, a rookie for the uh, Cubs this year. Really impressed me last weekend. He's poised the puck and his vision along the ice. See what he can do again for the Cubs this evening. Brandon Stahl lines up with the draw to the left side. Wins the draw back to the point. Goes off into the corner. Connor Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. The puck goes through center. Vipers will bring it out. Schaefer will stop it back there for Pulvermacher with his head up looking for an outlet pass. Almost a dangerous one. Right through the middle for Bernhard. That got picked off. Grant battling. Sticks his man in the face. No penalty call. Looked like an inadvertent play more than anything, but Cubs got away with that one. Colton Wiesen behind. Tries to rip it around and comes in the middle of a change. Heller's going to grab that. Part of me that's Bernhard. He's going to dump it in. And now we have a delayed penalty call, an elbowing call. Going to put the Cubs on their first power play. Only one power play goal for the Medicine Hat Cubs on the year this season. That's Harley Haggerty going to the box for Red Deer. Talked to Jason Bartram about that before the game. He said he's not concerned at all with the power play and the lack of production for Medicine Hat. He feels that they've been able to do some good things. They just hit the goal post, and they've missed a lot of opportunities. Could turn things around here. Wolvermacher behind. Left wing pass up there for Flokowski. Takes it in his skates, and he's going to dump it in. Adrian directs traffic behind the net. Flokowski on it. Tries to pass in front, and Funk's going to grab it on the wing. In behind for Florkowski, back in front again. The goaltender Adrian will direct traffic. That leaves the zone. Captain Cody Florkowski for the Medicine Hat Cubs scored 11 goals and 18 assists last year. Bartram feels that by giving him the C this year, hopes that's a boost of confidence for him and can translate some of those 300 plus penalty minutes into points. Feels he just needs a bit of confidence. A coach that believes in him more than anything. Give him a little bit of time to move. And he's got the puck. The left point winds up. That shot is blocked. And giving the Vipers a chance to clear it again. 58 seconds left in the power play for Medicine Hat. Scoreless game here in the first period. Lokowski back behind for Kyle. Grant hops over his stick. Grant's gonna get, get, Grant is going to grab it again. And he misses the pass to Fury. And Fury's battling here. One on four. Short-handed chance. And a shot easily saved by Schaefer. Connor Einhorn on that one again. Grant now. 
Head up, directs the traffic over the blue line. He's going to turn around. Looks for his team to set up. Still has the puck. Grant takes a shot off of a stick, goes over the glass, and out of play. Cubs next home game next Friday night, Thanksgiving weekend. Three Hills will be in town. After that, they're not going to be back again until uh, well, the following Saturday there. Mountain View and uh, High River Saturday-Sunday games. Cubs continue to put pressure on a pass in front. No one there. Galpo can't keep it under the point. That's going to go all the way down the ice. Grant seeing ample minutes here on the power play. Schaefer is going to elect to take the uh, pass to Galpo and looking for the right wing. Keeps it instead. Through center to Fury. Hell hath no Fury over the blue line. A weak shot gets blocked. Galpo now waits for his defense to change. Back to the point. Sadler couldn't handle it, so he puts it in the corner. Fury now gets hauled down. No penalty on the play. They contain a battle. Back into the corner. Retaliation there by the Vipers defender, LaPointe. And Raph elects to keep his whistle in his pocket. Fury continues to pressure, and the Vipers will send it down. That's it for the power play. As the Cubs will go for one again. Only one power play goal in the season for Medicine Hat. One and two, the Cubs are. Gallop with a long lead pass up there. Too far for his intended man. Matthew Seitz. Cubs left to tag up here. Vipers bring it out again. There's a breakdown. A shot. He scores! Vipers will open the scoring. Broken play over the blue line, and some defenders got caught sleeping. Red Deer leads 1 0. Opens the scoring for the Red Deer Vipers. They jump out to one nothing lead. Same as the story as last weekend when Coldale was in town. The Cubs got caught sleeping early on. Might take a little bit of time to wake these guys up. But in the meantime, Kyle Funk's line gets out there with Florkowski. And Keegan Bartram talked to him about his, uh, his son and his play. Feels that uh, gave Funk and Florkowski the opportunity to pick who they wanted to play with. They enjoy playing with Bartram as you feel that he's really strong on the puck, even though he is the coach's kid, as he put it. Vipers have it in their zone, trying to move it along through center, and it does. Sadler goes back there to chase it. He's got a man in pursuit. That's Glacken. Strong on the puck. He gets hammered down nicely. Justin Corbett takes down Sadler, who's off balance. He's got about a foot of difference on him, though, this Red Deer team. A definite size advantage on Medicine Hat, that's for sure. Cubs dump it in. Nice little kick pass up there. Grant keeps it in. Florkowski in position. Battling for it. Funk goes to the net. Looking for the pass. Florkowski the shot. That goes wide for Grant to the point. Grant's going to cycle it down low. Back for Florkowski. Puts it in front. Takes the shot on the side. Rebound. They score! Keegan Martrum. Bartram, his second goal of the year for the Medicine Hat Cubs as we uh, continue to battle some speaker problems here at the Kinplex without the uh, the lovely tones of the fantastic playlist they usually put on, far trumping the Medicine Hat Arena that the Tigers get to enjoy. Whoever designs the playlist here, they know how to pick their music. So it is uh, one all in the first period, just uh, almost eight minutes gone. Dave Dawson from Shot Television, thanks for joining me this evening. Keegan Bartram, his second goal of the season. That play was all started by the hard work by Cody Florkowski, and a puck came to the side. Funk fanned on, and Bartram got another shot at it to tie this game up. Adrian behind directs traffic. Going to 
They give the Vipers a chance to break out, and they put it up to center. And he sent right back in there. Cameron Stock. Lead pass for Bone. He gets bumped on the side. That draws a reaction from the good crowd here at the Kinplex. Nice response by Bartram's team. Heller at the blue line. Puck evades him. Brandon Dennis brings it in. Tries to put it in front. Nothing going there. Dennis now. Nicely played there by Sadler. Taking the body. Keeping him out of position. And the Cubs will get it out of the zone. Bartram elects to change his lines. Long lead pass is too far for the intended recipient, Colton Wieson. That'll go around the boards and out. Vipers will retreat. Jonathan Finnegan. Jonathan, don't call me Casey Finnegan. Down the right side, Tanner Howe is going to dump it in. Back there to pick it up is Tanner Barton. Ooh, he got rocked hard behind the net. Finishing his check, Dorian Bernhard loses the puck, and things get chippy here in the first period. Here in the midway point. A little flip pass there for Brandon Stahl. Left wing pass over the blue line is Bernhard towards the net. Loses the puck, though. The Vipers will just clear it out through center. Retreating is Pulvermacher. The Zidane Chara back in the point for the Cubs. He plays in upwards of 30 minutes a game here for Bartram squad. As Funk is offside just by a stride. That face-off will come outside the zone of the Red Deer Vipers. Happy to be joining you in play-by-play -play this season. Braden Malsbury from Chat TV will be doving half-duty with myself as well. And Cam Zondi and Mark Keller and Dave Kowalczyk elect to take the high road this season and say hello to them as they like to listening online this evening and all the great work they've done with this Medicine Act Cubs organization over the years. Cubs battling in the zone, not able to maintain any pressures. Grand a shot from the point. Block rebound. Hey, score! Referee's going to wave it off. As I'm not sure if that was a hand pass or the player was down with an injury, but the call is here. I got a wonderful poll in my sight line, so I'm not sure what the linesman did say, but nonetheless, that play was waved off. Spokowski is looking for his third goal of the season. And instead, that's going to be a face-off outside the zone. Bad break there for the Cubs, and a good one for the Vipers. Spokowski wins the draw. It's going to go all the way down onto goaltender Schaefer. Schaefer on the air. He's got a goals against average of two and a 926 save percentage. Seen a lot of rubber on the Medicine Hat Vipes. As the outlet pass goes wide, and the puck pursuit there by Grant isn't able to catch up with it. Keegan Bartram over the blue line loses it. Grant's going to go off the line change. Those long, flowing locks of Kyle Grant blowing in the wind. Pulvermacher. Outlet's up there for Funk. He loses his balance. Splorkowski will give it a shot again. Funk behind the net. Battling for it. And a nice couple of moves there by Glacken. Really patient, and he's going to bring it up. Glacken still has it. He gets knocked off the puck, and... Defender will bring it in too. Robertson a shot. Gets knocked away. Black and Robertson is no size loss on that line. Black and 6'1, 185. Robertson 6'1, 215. That's probably the combined size of the Medicine Hat Cubs in total if you add up all their players. The Cubs are managing to stay in this game. One all is the score. 9-17 left in the first. Right side of Schaefer is won by the Vipers. Back behind, it gets dumped in there by Molson. Brought up by Gallipo. He's just going to flip it up through center. Ben Fury will bring it up, and I think that's going to be penalty call coming up here. Possibly. Love to head pass. I think that's going to be the call. Draw will come outside the, uh, the zone of Schaefer to the glove side. Pursuit, not able to catch up with it, so the Vipers will dump it in. Shot just barely goes wide. A rebound right in front. Schaefer had to be sharp on that one as the shot didn't miss by much, and the rebound bounced right in front again. Oh, and a 
Big hit there by Gallipo. Colton G Gillette, the goal scorer, the best a man can get was laying on his back after that one. Here he takes a slash towards the net, tries to play it, and nice little job there by Adrian. Moving it off to the side, keeping the paddle down, and Gillette got his clock lead on that play as things continue to get chippy here in the first period. Good physical presence. I'm, I'm a guy who likes physicality in hockey, so there's body contact, nothing wrong with that. Bartram sends out Brandon Stahl to take the draw. Wins that cleanly and dumped towards the net. That goes wide. Matt Johansson tries the outlet. Get another shot at it, but not before Stevenson's in pursuit. I'll try the other way. Four check here by the Cubs, not allowing the breakout. Bernhardt in pursuit. Gonna move it around back then behind the net. Johansson, the wing pass. It's too far for his man. And Martin goes back to pick it up. Look, takes a look over his shoulder and sees what he's got. Right wing pass. One touch up there for Bernhardt. Gets turned around. A shot by the Viper. Saved by Schaefer. And the rebound, or the wraparound attempt rather, looked like it. Something at the back of the net. Thought that might have went in, but Schaefer is able to hold on to that one. 7.46 left in the first period. And one all is the score. Switches up the lines. <coughs> Kyle Florkowski now comes out as a late shift and saved by Schaefer. He's got Heller, Fury, and Kyle Florkowski. And another quick change here right away as the top line comes out of Florkowski, Kyle Funk, and Keegan Bartram. Kyle Funk, the yeah, team leader in scoring last year, 39 goals, 26 assists in 38 games played. It's Bartram with a shot block and he chips that one. That could go down for an icing call and likely will as it does. All the way back into the medicine hat zone. Cody Flukowski leads his team in scoring this year. Five points, two goals, three assists. Right behind him, Kyle Funk. No surprise. And again, only one power play marker on the season and one shorthanded goal as well. He's have 73 penalty minutes to show for it in three games. Medicine Hat Cubs only playing three games so far. Coldell has played seven games already. For Black Falls, has only played one. Dumped into the zone, giving hustle there is Grant behind. Battling forward and left wing pass there by Kapalka. He's going to bring it out through center. Two on two, an opportunity for the Vipers over the blue line. And Pulvermacher says, not going to happen. Sends it back out again. Lead icing call against Red Deer. Stats-wise this season for the Red Deer Vipers, Cole DeGraff leads the way. Two games played, uh, no team, no player on the team has more than one goal this season. There are nine different goal scorers for the Vipers. Cole DeGraff with one goal and three assists for four points. Again, this is only Red Deer's third game in a young Heritage Junior B Hockey League season. The 2006 Keystone Cup champions, the Western National Champions, are the Red Deer Vipers. And since then have had, made a habit of losing out of the first and second round of the playoffs much like where the Cubs lost out last season. Bartram says that he wants to build for a playoff run this year as the Vipers will bring it out left wing side. Shot is easily saved by Schaefer and Galpo back there. Vipers will have to retreat. Gleason sends it over to Bo and he's going to dump it in. That'll be deflected out of play by goaltender Cole Schaefer. Leaders, Alex uh, Pronchuk of High River, 14 points on the air already through four games, eight goals, six assists. Dylan Robertson of Banff, right behind him, five games played, two goals, nine assists for 11 points. Draw to the right side of Schaefer. Florkowski lines up, loses that one. The shot is blocked in the skates of Funk. Florkowski gets bumped there by Gillette. Wing pass for Funk, beats his man. One on one now for Kyle Funk on the left wing side to the front of the net, takes a shot. Nice pad save there by Adrian. As Bartram battles with his man. 
Borkowski had a shot at it, didn't realize the puck was behind him. It goes back through center again. Martin back there to pick it up, right wing pass. He's going to go all the way down for the icing calls, but pass to the intended recipient of that, Kyle Funk. Elliot. The interesting similarity between Kyle Funk and the city of Red Deer is that's where this young man is working. Didn't think he was going to come back and play for the uh, Cubs this season. A huge addition it was last minute to the organization. He was their team scoring leader last two seasons. He'll be playing part-time for the Cubs this year and working in the city of Red Deer. Bartram now, three on three, left wing, blows the tire. Still brings over the blue line, though. Florkowski blows the tire as well. Somebody must have left some olive oil on the left wing side there. Pile of points over the blue line, loses it. Bartram will cycle it around back there for Grant, who moves it along. Defender gets bumped and back out through center again. Johansson will retreat. He's got to settle the puck down. Sends it over to his partner to pass to the middle to Dennis. Grant is going to fire it off the glass and allows Bartram's team to change. Heller out there. Bernhardt and Ben Fury. Schaefer gobbles one up. One all to score. 4.58 left in the first period. Thanks for joining us on uh, CubsHockey.com this evening. Dave Dawson, Shaw Television. Got the pleasure of uh, being able to do a couple games this year. Splitting duties with uh, Raiden Malls. We have Chad Television, another good friend of mine. Happy to bring you uh, action. Live streaming on CubsHockey.com. As the puck rolls in on Schaefer awkwardly there off of the draw. There's some pushing and shoving in front of the net. Likely going to be exchanging dinner plans after. Next five games to the Medicine Hat Cubs. The, uh, tomorrow afternoon, they'll be heading off to Pinoca. 2.30 start next Friday night to Three Hills, and uh, we'll make a visit here to Medicine Hat at the Kinplex, followed by Saturday night. The Cubbies will be taking a trip to Mountain View. Thanksgiving Monday, they'll be <coughs> Medicine Hat Cubs will be in Coldale for a rematch of the game last weekend. Quite a rivalry between those two teams. As the Cubs taken out one of the five games last year, and a couple thrilling overtime games there as well. Next five for the Vipers. They're going to play again on next weekend. They will be in Coldale on Saturday. Sunday they'll take a trip to Pinoca, and then the following Saturday they'll have Stetler stop by Red Deer, then the next Wednesday they'll be taking another trip to Pinoca. Red Deer Vipers. In the North Division of the Heritage Junior Hockey League, the Medicine Hat Cubs sitting dead last right now with two points in the Southern Division. Again, only playing three games. One of three teams in that division playing three games this season. Draw to the right side of Adrian is won by the Cubs. Fighter on the boards. Goes too far for Funk and he's going to have to hustle on that to maintain possession as that'll be an offside call as he already had some men inside the zone needing to tag up. Side of Schaefer is won by Florkowski. He's pretty slick between the dots tonight. Over Macker over the blue line. Drops it there for Heller. Power play opportunity here for the Cubs. Second one of the game. They're 0 for 1 so far. Bartram put it back to the point for Plumbermacher. Tries to go across ice for Funk and, and rolling clock. And oh, he trips his man up in a breakaway opportunity for the Vipers. Into the zone. Off the goal post. Justin Corbett, and there'll be a penalty call coming up here against Medicine Hat, where knee on knee play there. Chris Robertson would have had a chance to go in 2 on 0 for the Vipers, and they'll have that'll even things up. Shorthanded opportunity for the Vipers. Good hustle there by the big, lanky Red Deer Vipers forward. Justin Corbett standing six foot tall, a buck 70. Captain Cody Florkowski going to the box, so 42 seconds into the man advantage. Cubs will have an opportunity for, the Vipers will have an opportunity for the, the power play once that expires. DeGraff finally at the leading score, backhand shot, 
Gets blocked on the left. Right in front of the net. And off the stick and goes into the corner. He sets up play there. Gillette battling for down low. Grant's going to put his head up. And nice lead pass there. Oh, well, I was almost able to connect with Funk. But a good heads up play by Jonathan Finnegan. Predicting that one. But Kyle Grant saw the one. One, two, one, two, one, two. This one's going here. One, two, one, two. It's, oh, it's really quiet, though. It should, uh, should be higher than that. That's pretty quiet. It should be a lot higher than that. That's very faint. It should be going halfway through, almost up to the red. It should be going.
One, two, one, two. Yeah, that's way too quiet. One, two, one, two. No, it's something from here. It's nothing to do with that. It's got to be something on here. One, two, you know, something with the Q. Yeah. One, two, one, two. That's a little better. That's that's halfway this with it pinned. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Which one? Is it this one here? Yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Yeah, there we go. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah.
Welcome back for the second period. Dave Dawson here at CubsHockey.com. Thanks for joining us. we got our technical difficulties sorted out in the arena and online. One all is the score between the Cubs and the Red Deer Vipers through 20. Kyle Grant back there to go after the puck. Picked up first of all by Glacken. Both teams at even strength. Now the Cubs started this period out killing a short power play opportunity. Funked on the right side. There's a head up. Have a pass there for Kyle Florkowski as he gives chase. Comes to the left point for Pulvermacher. He's going to keep it in. Florkowski walks it. F shot from the point. Grab rebound. Right in front. Off the post. And score! <laughs> Keegan Martrim, 2 to 1 Cubs. And that's the way Jason Bartram's squad wanted to start the second period. Deja vu from the first goal. Only 48 seconds into the second frame. Keegan Bartram second of the game from Kyle Funk and Cody Florkowski. Madison Hat has jumped out to a 2-1 to -one lead. And they're the aggressors so far on the last 15 minutes of this hockey game for the most part. Heller overskates a puck. And a bad giveaway there, and that's going to be... An offside call. An awkward play that uh, for the first shot went off the goal post and Bartram was right on it again. He was a late trailer in, fired it into a yawning cage. Has the second of the game, the third of the season. Right after they killed a Red Deer power play. Both teams 0 for 2 in the contest. Early on in the second period, Medicine Hat leads 2 to 1. That was pretty much a story last weekend on Saturday when Coldale was in town. Medicine Hat came out in the second period and really turned it on. The Vipers now the aggressors. Shot goes wide of the net. Another shot deflected in front. That goes wide again. Ryan Thompson in behind. Cycling with Brendan Dennis. Dennis puts it back there. Cycling again. Red Deer controlling the play down though. Barton battling. Trying to get it out of the zone. Right in front of the net. Bad play. Rebound right in front. Another shot saved by Schaefer. Great reaction time there by Schaefer. Trying to hold his team in it. A shot from the side of the net. Safe rebound right in front of the net. And Heller is able to clear that out of the way. And goes Bobby Orlike through the air. The Vipers again. Takes a shot off of uh, Schaefer's glove, I believe. And that went wide. Cross ice. Heller in pursuit. Finally, the Cubs are able to get it out. Fury. Right wing pass up there. For Sean McGuire. Puts it towards the net. That goes wide. Florkowski breaks his stick or just drops it. Fury now has a head up, takes a shot, safe rebound right in the crease and cleared out of the way. Great action to start the second period of play where the first 10 minutes of the first were a little bit on the, dare I use the term, boring side, but both teams have uh, started to turn it up and pretty aggressive play as well by both squads in the first period. Nice hitting. One big hit by Gallopo where he took down Colton Gillette. Kind of the momentum turner. They got the Cubs back in the game, I guess you can call it. Draw to the right side of Adrian. Cubs are battling for it. Funk just throws it towards. Steered off into the corner. Flokowski in front. Adrian had to be right there. Back to the point now for Funk. Takes the shot. Scores! Kyle Funk! 3-1. The Cubs lead. Funk and Flakowski connect for that one. Nice shot top shelf by number 18. Three to one. The Cubs lead and they're on the attack again. Big hit by Bartram. <laughs> A follow-up hit behind the net as well. As Grant tries to keep it in. He can't. 
Two on one for the Vipers. Over the blue line, a nice back check there by Pulvermacher. That's Robertson's shot. Easily steered off into the corner, and the Cubs will have to ice this one. Barely, just barely, it's an icing call as Jordy Potter goes back there to pick it up. Couldn't be Harry Potter with the magic to try and wave off the icing, but it's going to come all the way back into the Medicine Hat zone. Face off the left side of goaltender Schaefer. Draw one by Medicine Hat, but the Vipers will be the aggressors. Two quick goals here by the Cubs. And in just over two minutes of play, and they lead 3-1. to one. And almost another opportunity there for the high-energy Cole Stevenson. Just missed that pass as a chance goes wide of the net, and the, cut, the Vipers are out the other way. 3 on one over the blue line. Pass across. Shot saved by Schaefer. It's a round of applause from the faithful here. Another opportunity for the Vipers. And that pass goes off the skate of Gallipo. Back to the point. It comes for Bo. He's going to put it in deep. In behind the net for Dennis. He gets wiped out by Gallipo. Nice aggressive hit there, and he might have taken a bump on the head a little bit. But a good job by Gallipo. As the Cubs will change. Fantastic start by Jason Bartram's squad here in the second period. Whatever adjustments he made to come out certainly has turned the tide. Vipers has skated out two on three. Left wing pass goes too far for his man, and that's Barton back there to retrieve. Pass goes through the skates for Sadler. The Vipers have an opportunity. Pass in front was deflected off to the corner. Two men in pursuit. A chance now. Shot goes wide of the net. Came off of the heel of the stick by Gillette. Finnegan puts that puck wide. Theory now. No, that's not Theory. Pardon me. That's Kyler Goldade with a nifty toe drag over the blue line. Fakes the shot. That gets blocked. Rebound. It's cleared out of the way in the Vipers. This game has opened up. Two on three. A nifty move around Grant. A good back check there by Kyle, though. Not giving up on the play. As he shakes off the man. Good job by Kyle Grant standing his ground. Pass in front gets deflected. Shot re saved by Schaefer. <laughs> Things have really picked up pace wise here in the second period. In behind the net is LaPointe. Puts it in front. A score. Great job. Not giving up on the play there by Cole Gillette as he gets his second of the game. Inching away to this. Tying this game up. Three to two now the score. Gillette credited with his second of the game as well, so it's a, a Keegan Bartram and Colton Gillette show. We'll see who gets the upper hand of this one. 3-2 is the score, just over five minutes gone in the second period. Dave Dawson, Shot Television. That's where I get paid to work during the week, but I get to hang out with you part-time on the weekends and do a little bit of medicine at Cubs Hockey. CubsHockey.com, thanks for joining me this evening. As the Cubs will dump it in there, and that will be handled by the goaltender, Jaden Adrian. Adrian Hill from Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, 6'3", 195 pounds. Between the pipes for the Red Deer Vipers. A little bit of push in there. Battle of number 28, Mitch Heller and Harley Haggerty exchange friendlies at center ice. Before the draw, Adrian to the right side. One by Florkowski, back to the point. Quick release. That's gobbled up by Adrian. Cameron Stock threw that one on net. Very young medicine at Cubs hockey team this year. 14 rookies on the squad. Jason Bartram says it's a, well, it's a work in progress, but he's going to hoping to use a lot of the speed to beat teams this year. They're not going to be a very big team, but they're going to have speed right in front of them. Bartram has a chance at a hat trick, and that gets beyond him. Good relentless forecheck. I like the, uh, the aggression on this Cubs team so far in this hockey game. Funk pass gets beyond him. Now battles behind the net as he tries to jump over top of Jordy Potter. Pulvermacher up on it. And referee's going to blow that one dead as we'll call that one a hand pass. Florkowski goes off to the change. Captain Cody Florkowski, big confidence booster as we alluded to earlier in the hockey game and racked up over 300 penalty minutes last season 
Jason Bartram says he's got high expectations from the young man and knows he's going to make mistakes. He's going to be prone to maybe taking a few penalties here and there that, you know, sometimes a coach would frown upon, but he says that's what he understands. Cody's an emotional player. As the Cubs will break out here, one-on-one -on, -one on the right side. Bartram looks over his shoulder. He's going to let to go behind and regroup as he battles off his man. And the puck will come outside of the zone. The referee's going to blow his whistle, but Jason talked about his son, Keegan, and said that a couple years back in, in peewee hockey, his jersey went all the way down to his knees, and he's surprised at how quickly he's grown and he's been able to fill out and it's pretty, pretty solid frame, even though that uh, there's only 145 pounds hanging off the 5'9 body. He feels he's solid. That's why he's able to battle nicely with that top line of Cody Florkowski and Kyle Funk. Right wing pass there, not able to get outside the zone. It's going to be a delayed offside call. And the Red Deer player not able to hear the linesman. That almost could have been an intentional offside all the way down to the other end of the zone, but the ice rather but we're going to call that one just outside of the goaltender Schaefer 1245 remains in the second period three to one the Medicine Hat Cubs lead in their fourth game of the season they're undefeated on home ice seven and two last weekend they beat the three three and one cold ill copperheads Barton back behind battling with his man for possession pass comes in front of the net and cleared off to the side out of harm's way a turnaround shot goes off into the corner Right wing pass for Stevenson. He's just going to deflect that one out of harm's way, allowing the Vipers a chance to change. Adrian leaves the puck for his defender. Shakes off the two guys on four check. The lead pass goes Aaron off of the skate. Finnegan will have to regroup again. The Vipers now on the attack. Three on three down the right wing. Wieson tries to put it in front, and a great job by Stahl coming back there on his horse. A nifty little pass for Florkowski. He's going to put it up through the middle. Can't catch up with it. That's going to go all the way down the ice, and that'll be nice and called against the Red Deer Vipers as Pulver Mackey goes back there to grab it. Just joining us, the game story. Red Deer scored the first goal at 5.08. Cubs came back to tie it up with five and a half minutes after that, and they've been the aggressors coming out of the second period, 48 seconds in. Bartram got his second, Kyle Funk at 3.04, and then Gillette for Red Deer got his second of the game. Just over two minutes after that, and that's where we stand right now as we near the midway point of the hockey game. Goal day to the backhand shot that went wide. Kyle Florkowski now back there. Tries to put it in for sights. Goes beyond his sights, and it's a three-on-two for Red Deer down the left wing side. A good job by Grant. However, he loses the uh, sight of the puck, allowing his man to go right in front of pass, and three guys collapse down low. Knocking that one out of harm's way, but a turnover at the blue line, and the Vipers have a chance again. The point. He gets heavily bumped there by Pulvermacher. Some sloppy playing in front of the net as a bouncing puck. As Grant's going to lead the charge. A puck on his side now it settles. Three on two. Grant tries to drop it off. Instead, he likes to put it behind the net. Goldig gives chase. Goldig there with Florkowski. Tries to put it in front, and instead, the defender Potter will flip it around back behind the net. Aaron Pass comes back to Gallopo behind. Goldie now tries to shake off a couple defenders and Florkowski will battle there one on two. Moving around in his skate, tries to freeze it on the boards, get a draw. Referee not blowing his whistle. The play goes on. Gallopo. Florkowski springs free, a backhand, a weak one, didn't get all that. Easily gloved down by Adrian with 10.35 left in the first period, 3 to 2. The Medicine Hat Cubs lead. Both teams make wholesale changes. Florkowski, Funk, and Bartram out there again. Draws one by Florkowski. Shot through a screen by Funk. Easily steered aside by Adrian. Comes back to the point for Stock. He can't keep it in. It's going to go outside the zone and all the way down the ice. That could be nice and call, but I'll be waved off. Because Gallopo on his horse. Gallops back there and grabs it. Blows the tire. Right in front of the net. A shot. That looks like it went off the stick. And Florkowski will head the other way. Lead pass up there for Funk. Around the defender. Kyle Funk on his backhand. Goes to forehand. Up. Oh, it is. He can't rock. Kyle Funk, a race behind the net by Bowen. Wow. 
That's about as high as hit you're going to see this year. Kyle Funk just got a race along the boards. And that's going to give Red Deer a spark as the puck kind of goes through the crease and through some skates. The Vipers now are the aggressors. Bo, the man who started this whole thing, puts it behind the net. The Vipers now on the attack. Bo winds up from the shot, from the point. That shot will be deflected over the glass. And out of play. But Zach Bo, what a hit. As he erased the Cubs' number one man, Kyle Funk. Funk had it on his backhand and tried to strong arm it towards the net. But Bo, a bit of a size advantage on him. 6-1, a buck 90. Kyle Funk sits at 5'8", 170. So a clear size advantage on that one. Just rode him. And the cleanest hockey check you'll find. And hammered Kyle Funk along the boards and took him right out. Cubs now trying to set up shop and that pass will go too far. Back there to pick it up is going to be Johansson. Back to the right point. Shot goes wide of the net. It's Tanner Barton. Couldn't put that one on the 4 by 6 that's going to all the way down the ice. Barton's in a foot chase. With number 10, Connor Einhorn. Backhand, a weak one. Schaefer makes the save. The Vipers, you can, cl you can clearly see a jump to their step after that huge hit by Bo. Could be a turning point in this hockey game if the Vipers are able to tie it up. Barton, theory in there as well. Pass in front. Couldn't get beyond Barton. It goes back to the point now. Jonathan Finnegan will send it down deep. Brandon Dennis in there. Plays it on the boards, and Barton, a very, very tired Barton. Can't get it out of his zone as the Vipers with relentless forecheck. Back to the right point, a bouncing puck goes cross ice. Shots goes deflected off of a body. I believe Schaefer got a piece of it. And throws it in front of the net, a chance right there. Bouncing puck, no shot. As the Cubs will finally be able to get it through center. And you can bet the Barton will be one of the first guys to go off the ice. As no, he's not able to change as the Vipers go two on two again. La Point down the right side, a right hand shot through center and not able to get a shot on net. McGuire will send it through the middle. And again, the Vipers will turn it right back in. It's finally, Barton's able to get off the ice. No, he's not, pardon me. That's the other defender, and Cubs will just send it down. They'll try and get the defenders off the ice. Spartan Wax with ha Haley, Harley ha Hegarty, pardon me. As he goes off for a change. Stevenson in there. Cubs now the aggressors. While not able to have any sustained forecheck. As the Viper is out the other way. Ryan Thompson dumps it off. Over the blue line. Shot goes wide. 7.27 left in the second period. 3-2. to two. The Red Deer Vipers are down to the Medicine Hat Cubs. Shot from the point. That goes way wide. Around the boards it comes for Kapalka. Kapalka will put it there. Paul Vermacker and another Cubs player. Bernhardt there. As the Vipers have really turned on the body checking in this second period as the Cubs will go offside. As Stevenson just rubbed out his man at the blue line and that momentum from that on the Potter hit took him over the blue line and forcing that to be an offside call as Bartram will make a change, bringing out the top line again who have accounted for all the points in this 3-2 score for the Medicine Hat Cubs in the second period of play. Florkowski Another stud of the draw. I don't think he's lost a face-off yet tonight. Pulvermacher will put it around the boards. Bartram tries to catch up with it, but he'll go beyond. No, he gets it now. Bartram, two on three. Florkowski couldn't get it to him. And a nice nifty to play there. The Vipers out the other way. He's on the right side. A Glack and a shot. That goes beyond. And Grant will nifty play through the center ice. Vipers will retreat. Florkowski's going to rip it around and... As the, the uh, Cubs go dump and chase. Bartram in pursuit and almost a giveaway there behind the net. A bad play by Potter as he'll have to regroup again. The breakout, a left wing pass and flipped it over through the middle. A nice little play there. The Vipers can't enter. The Cubs will send it back again. Bartram puts it to Funk. In a row, Kyle Funk. He scores!
Great job by Kyle Funk. What a nifty move that was. The head fake, forehand, backhand, nothing but wide open net. Puts it to the top half. The Cubs have themselves a 4-2 to two lead. All that started by a great play by Florkowski, seeing that Funk was sneaking in back doors. The Vipers have a chance here, and the Cubs are on their heels. The Vipers looking to bite back. Bartram is going to rip it around the boards, and the Cubs still can't get it out, but... Kyle or Cody Flokowski, a nice play, chipping that puck up to Kyle Funk, who's able to go one-on-one -on -one with Adrian. And anytime Kyle Funk is in alone on a goaltender, you need two or three goaltenders in there to protect. Cubs have a 4-2 lead as Bartram goes off on the line change. And if he touched that, they, he did touch it. And the Vipers bench is calling for too many men. Cubs got a break on that one as the other uh, player already came over on the line change. Jason Bartram's squad got a lucky break on that one. Florkowski remains on the ice for this play. Cubs have themselves a 4-2 lead. 5-18 left in the second period. Gallup with the point. Just throws it towards the net. Hoping to turn something out of it. Florkowski fans on that one. On the side. Sites can put it in. And there we have a whistle as the net comes off of its staples. And I use staples as a, a very, very light euphemism on that one. Not a whole lot holding those, uh, those nets down, but... 4-2 the Medicine Hat Cubs lead. Five minutes remaining in the second period. Kyle Funk with a pair. Keegan Bartram with a pair. Face-off will come to the right side of the goaltender, Adrian. Bartram's going to put out Fury. He's got Heller and Sean McGuire along with him as well. Barton and Gallup on defense. Shot comes to the point for Barton and a, a rolling puck easily handled by Adrian is we'll have another draw to the right side the blocker side of, of the goaltender Jaden Adrian won by the Vipers they just elect to dump it down the ice that'll likely go right on Schaefer so that will go through the crease so they're going to call that an ice and call again kind of back to where this game started the pace is where the middle portion of the the hockey contest turned into quite an exciting game good hitting good speed Six goals on the board, and things kind of slow down on the pace again as Fury lines up on the draw, loses this time. It's Finnegan tries to outlet it, can't get it. McGuire in behind, a nifty little pass from his back of his skates to his stick, and can't keep it down, though. That's going to go all the way down the ice. Schaefer outside of his net this time to slow it down for Barton. Instead, he's going to rip it around the boards. McGuire. The one tap up there for Fury, too far for him, and he got a stick on it. Fury's going to get another chance at it. He's going to dump it in. McGuire on the chase. Fury will remain at the ring at line. McGuire on the forecheck, the outlet pass. Fury's there to stop it. Good forecheck by the... Cubs with pressure on the right side. Flokowski the cross ice pass. Can't get it to Funk. Back to the point now. Kept into the blue line. And the Vipers have had that opportunity. Two on one. A weak pass. Almost uh, pretty much obliterated that opportunity. Where they would have had a three on one play. But a bad pass to begin that. Could have been much worse for the Cubs. As the shot gets deflected over the glass. And out of play. The Cubs a lucky break there. As the Vipers had a break there. And odd man opportunity. But a bad pass. Is behind the winger. And almost put his own player offside over the blue line and eliminated the excellent scoring opportunity for the Vipers. Face off the left side of Schaefer, won by the Cubs. And that comes outside the zone. Bartram has had himself a fantastic hockey game. Three goals on the year for the rookie forward, the son of head coach Jason Bartram. Oh, off the goal post, the forward. Florkowski meant to rip it on the boards. A chance right in front of the net and a, a bad break there for Flor. Cody Florkowski, luckily, didn't turn into anything that could have been a disaster for the Medicine Hat Cubs. This Red Deer regroups. Funk in pursuit. The neutral zone trap here going on by the Cubs. Florkowski, a touch pass in front. Nice little slap pass on the point. Rebound right in the crease. Adrian's got to hold on to that. What a heads-up play by Flukowski again, who saw Funk going towards it at the slap pass. 
Ala Henrik and Daniel Sedin. Nice save by Adrian. And as he holds on to that one for the faceoff, 112 left in the second period. What a great shift. Great line that Florkowski, Bartram, and Funk has been for the Medicine Hat Cubs, who have accounted for all the scoring in this game so far for the Silver and Black. Great four check there by Fury. A shot is blocked. Trickles on to the equipment of Adrian. He holds on to that one for another draw. Draw on the left side of Adrian. is won again by the Cubs. A shot from the point, and that goes easily gloved down by Adrian. The Cubs need to have a little more time to set up bodies in front, or he's going to grab one of those each and every time. I'm sure even my sister listening online right now could probably uh, handle that while baking some cookies. Around the boards it goes. Oh, and a big hit on the side. That's going to be an elbowing call. Gallopo's not going to like that, but a high hit. Made head contact, and that'll give the Vipers a power play opportunity here. The much-needed man advantage for Red Deer as Gallopo with the aggressive check there, but got the hands up into the head. And that'll bring Red Deer to a power play. With 56 seconds left in the second period. 4-2, to two, the Medicine Hat Cubs lead. Elbowing call it is. Vipers win the draw. Fake shot from the point. It goes across there to Finnegan. Puts it down low for Robertson. Robertson now back to the point. Finnegan a shot. That's blocked. Got a body set up in front, but... Schaefer in position with 35 seconds left in the second period. Adrian's been a busy boy, as has Schaefer. Shots are 24-21 scored that way for the Red Deer Vipers, but you never know exactly how many of those are actually true to shot. Grant battling there. is able to get it out of the zone, and the Vipers left to regroup with one more chance here to put a puck in the 4x6 before we put the boots to the second period. We're at 13.43. And then that power play goal late in the period by the Red Deer Vipers uh, will likely go to Chris Robertson. The assist going to who really knows because I doubt they got that right in 1957. So we'll be back for the third period of play in a little bit. Three minutes here into the third period. Draw will come to the right side of Adrian. Sights lines up for it. Loses the draw cleanly. Around the boards it goes for Molson. Outlet pass up there and the Vipers are in. Two on two. Schaefer out of his net. He rips it around the boards. Goldaid puts it off the skate. He prepares himself for the body check. Kind of disregarded the puck and Wanted to absorb that hit first. Schaefer settles it down behind. Here comes the trailer a shot. Einhorn goes wide of the net. Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. In behind, Gillette puts it in front and through the skates of his forward. And that'll go all the way back through to center. Molson fires it across to Bo, the guy who rubbed out Kyle Funk in the second period with that huge hit. Pulvermacher now puts it in the air. That's going to go to the equipment of Bo, who's just going to put it right back in. The battle of the fives. Pulvermacher will retreat. And a bad pass to the neutral zone is going to be grabbed by Dennis, who walks over the blue line. And they're going to call that one offside. As Florkowski will leave it there for the official. Thanks for joining us online tonight. CubsHockey.com. Dave Dawson joining you. The uh, little part-time play-by-play this year, sharing it with Brayden Malsbury from Chat Television and Medicine Hat. I myself call Shaw TV Medicine Hat my place of employment from Monday to Friday and everything thereafter. Happy to hang out with you part-time on this Saturday evening. Four to three of the Medicine Hat Cubs lead. Just over four minutes gone in the third period. 
Florkowski is going to put it behind for Funk, who tries to back at it on net. Shot saved by Adrian. It's going to come to the left point for Pulvermacher, who's got Grant on the other side. Pulvermacher can't get it deep. The Vipers get it out. He lost his stick, though. A nice play there by Pulvermacher to get it to Grant. Grant on his horse now. Here he goes over the blue line. He's got a rolling pocket shot, hit a stick. Goes just wide of the net. Oh, what a huge. <laughs> Florkowski almost rubbed his man out there. Stevenson blows the tire, and they're going to call that a tripping call. The Vipers are going to go to get another power play opportunity. As that's Funk touching the puck, and that'll be a tripping call, I believe. Yes, it will. As there was a, uh, a broken stick there that caused some of the shrapnel. But nonetheless, the Medicine Hat Cubs will find themselves down a man again. The Red Deer Vipers, one for three on the man advantage in this hockey game. Cubs do have a one uh, do have one shorthanded goal to show for it this season. Credit that one to Kyle Funk. Those last weekend here in Medicine Hat. Kyle Grant goes to the box. Well, it should be a tripping call though. Now it's a slashing. There we go. Draws one and sent it down the ice. Back there quickly is Molson. He's got Heller there in pursuit. Fury as well. Nice job pick, Heller is picking off, and for his efforts, he gets knocked down on this keister. It's Gallopo and Cameron Stock back on defense for Medicine Hat. Dumped in by Finnegan. Schaefer rips it around the boards, and that goes outside of the zone. That'll give Medicine Hat a chance to change some personnel. This Heller is looking in a bad way after he got knocked down there. Bartram will come on in favor of him. 125 left in the Red Deer power play. Finnegan over the blue line. A shot goes wide of the net, and he gets knocked down. Finnegan back behind. Him and Stock exchange blows. As Galpo will take that chance to dump it down the ice. More personnel changes, and a long lead pass up there by Adrian. As the forward LaPointe will dump it in. Schaefer leaves it again as we have a power outage here on the scoreboard. So we don't know what time it's at. All kinds of things going wrong tonight at Medicine Hat. <laughs> Fans are trying to let the, uh, and both benches are trying to let the referee know the scoreboard is out. Here we go. Power's back on. Time hasn't started yet. Oh, puck shot there. <laughs> All chaos has broken out of the Kinplex right now. Welcome to Junior B Hockey, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, the clock has started. Three on three over the blue line as the, the Vipers have an extra break there and the power play is in front of the net. A shot goes wide by Robertson. Back to the right point. Shot is saved by Schaefer, back into the corner. Robertson gets hit heavily. He's back up again. Barton. Out there on the penalty kill, trying to get it out of the zone and he can't. Back to the left point it goes. Jason Bartram, the head coach, is furious with the official as they have now let Grant out of the penalty box as he gives the proverbial snow spray to the goaltender who isn't happy with that one. Bit of an odd play there, but as the Vipers are asking for an explanation from the referees as to why the time was erased. So to recap you with what happened, power went on the scoreboard, the power came back on. The clock hadn't started yet, so... Vipers were hoping for an extra little bit of time there to be able to dipsy doodle on the power play, but on the Medicine Hat side, they were not too happy with that. So to make a long story short, sky is blue, grass is green, water is wet, and we're in Medicine Hat. 13-14 uh, left in the third period. 4-3 to three is the score. 29-23 the shots are for Red Deer. As the referees will exchange dinner plans after, talk about how awful the Saskatchewan Rough Riders are. Just kidding, they're probably not going to talk about that. I think it's time to say hello to you listening online. Hello to my family as well as listening in Winnipeg. Trying to get the uh, situation sorted out here. Why don't we bring on Tyler Hudek from Chat Television to have a little bit of a chat here. He's standing right beside me. Ty, what do you think of uh, Devin Dubnik so far? <laughs> Ty Hudek does not want to talk 
Ty, let's talk about the uh, Medicine Hat Tigers instead. You were probably at the game last night. Ty doesn't want to come on and talk at all. That's the kind of guy Ty is. Gonna kill some time here. All right, on comes Ty Hudek. So, uh, yeah, what do you think of uh, those uh, Medicine Hat Tigers with uh, the season so far? Pretty uh, fast team, pretty skilled offensively. Uh, lots of good scorers up front. Cole Sanford out of nowhere with like seven goals already on the season. So, and Shinkar, two goals last night. I think they're a pretty good team. I think they'll definitely challenge the Hitmen for uh, the division this year. Great future for junior hockey in Medicine Hat. This Cubs team looking pretty good too. The Tigers looking fantastic. And uh, those listening online might know about the Tigers 20 year old situation. What do you think about the move to trade Boston Lear? Well, it was kind of the obvious decision had to be done. Uh, Jacob Doty with that size. Really can't replace that scene that fight last night. I don't know if you caught a, got a chance to catch it, but big guy just protecting those little guys there. And Bredo's so valuable on the back end. Curtis Falk, once again, I think he's leading the team in scoring. So it seemed like Lear had to be the one to go, and you can replace him internally with some of those guys like Penner, Howery on that fourth line there. All right, that's Ty Hudak of Sports for Chat Television. Thanks for your perspective on that, Ty. As uh, his coworker Braden Malsbury will be the other part-time play-by-play guy. And... Uh, all right, so we had Bill Burrard here, the general manager for the Cubs, has just dropped off a little bit of information for me. It's a Beef Eater Live Streaming. They're our sponsor, and autos are less. They're going to be giving away a trip to Vegas. Is, is that what I'm understanding, Bill? Why don't we bring you on here? You tell me all about what's going on here, Bill. What's, what do we got? All right. Okay, the Medicine Hat Beef Eater is the sponsor for our live streaming. So they're the ones who put all this together for us and make this possible. Uh, without them... We wouldn't be doing a live broadcast, so we have to really thank them a lot and uh, appreciate what they do. And if you ever want uh, the best steak in town, that's where you head. All right. I understand there's a bit of a contest here to get a trip to Vegas, so you can make uh, sure you check that out at Beef Eater Steakhouse, the best steak in town, according to Mr. Bill Burrard. So we'll take his word for it because Bill wouldn't tell a lie. He's a good friend of mine. As they were back to hockey action here, got everything all sorted out. 12.47 left, and the Vipers are on the attack. Two on two. Over the blue line comes Connor Einhorn. As he gets bumped with Gallopo as the pace picks up here as we head towards the midway portion of this third period. Barton bangs his stick. Or pardon me, Stock bangs his stick. He's not able to bring the puck out. It comes right back in the medicine hat zone. Schaefer around the boards there for Stevenson. The outlet pass up there for Stahl, the younger brother of Jordan Stahl and Eric Stahl in the NHL. Just kidding. That's a complete and total lie. The Vipers breaking out of their zone. Connor Reinhorn down the right wing side. Kyle Grant is able to cut that off. Cross ice pass there for Pulvermacher. And avoids getting pulverized on that play as he has it over the blue line. Two on two. A wrist shot. Deflected as it goes wide of the net. Funk in there in pursuit. Off of the glass it goes. And a lucky bounce off the linesman. Prevented an odd man rush the other way. Great back checking here by the Cubs. One on four. But a good second effort by the Vipers. Robinson. Two on a shot. Safe rebound. What a great stop by Schaefer, keeping this a 4-3 hockey game. He's had to be fantastic in this third period as a couple of odd man rushes and breakdowns. Second period as well that Cole Schaefer has been up to the test. We may have offsetting roughing calls here. One Red Deer player is already in the sin bin. It's number 22, Nick Glacken. No. Nope. It's going to be a lone power play for the Medicine Hat Cubs, who are 0 for 2 in the contest. Haven't had a power play since, I believe, the late stages of the first period. Face-off goes to the left side of Adrian, won by the Cubs. Back to the point for Pulvermacher, and again, a rolling puck. As Pulvermacher is going to be pushing and shoving with Chris Robertson, who's no stranger to mucking it up as he's done some of that already tonight. Funk lines up for the draw to the left side of Adrian. 4-3, the Cubs lead, 11-37 left in this third period. Back to the right point for Florkowski. Lines up a shot! Robertson blocked that one, and he is no worse for wear. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Florkowski's 5-7, a buck 50. Few guys can hit a hockey puck as hard as he can. So Robertson, for him not to show any worse for wear, Florkowski can pack a mean punch. Bartram now, right wing pass for Heller. He gets bumped, the Cubs will have to regroup. 1.30 left in this power play. 
Flokowski has a rolling puck again. Rips it around the boards to Bartram. Tries to cut it off to Povermacher, and he contacts out with a high stick. So you have to let that go for Flokowski. As a flip pass up the boards, and the Cubs are changing. The Vipers will take that time to air it down. Schaefer will stop it. The captain, Mr. Cody Flokowski, grab it from behind. 20-year-old Flokowski, Medicine Hat native. Grant has it now. Loses control of that. The Vipers have a break in the zone. Shot over top of the net. Connor Einhorn just missed the short side top shelf. They are the aggressors in this Medicine Hat power play. Florkowski drops it off for Bartram. Pardon me, that's not Bartram. That's Sadler who brings it over the blue line. He gets saddled off the glass, and Florkowski will take that off of the face and settle it down. Bartram now on the right wing side. Over the blue line, drops it off. Backhand shot. Easily saved by the goaltender, Adrian. Matt Seitz was able to throw that one on that. 10.04 left in the third period. 23 seconds left in the Medicine Hat power play. 4-3 to three is the score on Beef Eater Cubs Hockey. Draw to left side of Adrian. Seitz lines up for it. Loses the draw. Robertson tries to get it out. His defenseman Molson will take it instead and rip it around. Schaefer stops it there for Pulvermacher as his forward set up shop. He's got a right wing option. Instead, he takes the left side. Now the cross ice for Goldade over the blue line. Goldade sets up, drops it down low. Sights. Back behind two men on, and the, couldn't get it to the point, man. He was already moved up. Bernhardt, it's a one-on-one -on -one chance for the Vipers again. A shot off of the skate of Pulvermacher. And that'll do it for the Medicine Hat power play, who again is 0 for 3 tonight. Goldade and forecheck. And that'll be an offside call as the trailer, Dorian Bernhardt, was not able to stay on side. 9.16 left in this third period. Thanks for joining me this evening. Again, uh, be back on the air next weekend. Next Friday night at the Kimplex here, Three Hills is in town. And the next Saturday, the Cubs will be in Mountain View. Mark, next Friday night's uh, time, 8.15, will be puck drop. Vipers putting pressure on. Back to the point. A shot goes way over the net. The right point is Johansson. Dumps it in deep. Gallopo tries to shake a couple defenders. He loses it. Pass in front. Nobody there. And the Cubs will turn it around. Vipers will retreat to their blue line and they'll bring it up again. Finnegan will dump it down. Schaefer again is... A goaltender much like the Martin Brodeur. Nice having a puck moving goaltender. Three on two for the Cubs. Oh, Fury over the blue line. Drops it off. Shot goes over top of the net. McGuire couldn't connect on that one. No regulation whatsoever to Pierre McGuire, but McGuire is a monster. Shot towards it, and that's easily handled by Adrian. It hangs on for the draw. 8.58 left in this third period again. Four to three. Medicine Hat Cubs are hanging on to this hockey game. 1-1 through 20, and 4-3 through 40. No goals in this third period. Flokowski lines up for the draw to the right side of Adrian. The top line out there, Bartram and Funk. Pull from Acro, put it back behind the net. Bartram already has two on the night, three goals on the season. Keegan Bartram, the son of Jason. Backhand pass in front. Bounce away at it. Delayed penalty call coming. And I believe that's going against Red Deer for interference as Flokowski had a chance at popping one in a, and a bit of an open net there with goaltender Adrian down and the Cubs will be going to the power play. It's almost a play. You wonder if the Cubs can decline that with only one power play goal in the season, but another opportunity to practice that for head coach Jason Bartram. Florkowski wins the draw to Grant to the blue line. Puts it behind. Funk lets it go past. Bartram right on Pulvermacher's stick who gets a crosser to Florkowski. Ditches it off. Pulvermacher now puts it towards the net. That doesn't get through. Bartram 
Pulvermacher at the point. Puts it through traffic. Scores! Pulvermacher! Pulverizing goal! 5-3, to three, the Cubs lead. with a power play goal. The Cubs, another chance in front. Florkowski, a shot goes over top of the net. More pressure in here from the home side. The Kinplex crowd is enjoying this. Pulvermacher's first point, or uh, second point of the game, rather, and his first two points of the season. He has a goal and an assist tonight. He had six goals all last year, Pulvermacher did, for 38 games. Six of them on a power play. Three of them on a power play, pardon me. Cubs are changing, and the Vipers are asking for too many men, and they're going to get it. As as the puck came along the bench, one of the players touched it, and that'll put Red Deer on the power play. Too many men on the ice as the call will be served by Cole Stevenson, the Estevan Saskatchewan native, also a rookie. 7.37 left in this third period. 5-3, to three, Medicine Hat Cubs lead. Only the Cubs' second power play goal in four games. But it's a great, great start. you got to start somewhere, I guess. And the pass in front, and that goes just wide of the net for Corbett. Viper set up shop, Corbett. His option is Finnegan on the point. He likes to take Johansson. He's going to look for the back door again. And Corbett, chance in front. And Schaefer again is up to the test. Cole Schaefer has been top-notch in net tonight for these Medicine Hat Cubs. 32 shots on goal that it has been scored by the in-house uh, scorekeeper. Three of them got by. The local Medicine Hat product. Vipers on the attack again. LaPointe puts it in front of shot. Save rebound right in the crease, and he didn't get all that on it, I believe. Schaefer got a bit of that one to keep it out. Fury out there killing the penalty. Stock in there as well. It's the Cubs defender. He'll try to rip it around the boards, and he does. That's Kyle Funk. As he'll go off on a line change. Fury remains out. Florkowski comes out as well. Vipers, two on two, able to get past the defenders. Over the blue on a shot again, way wide. The Vipers are looking, they're trying to go top shelf a lot on Cole Schaefer here. Maybe some scouting that they know something that we don't. And behind the net, pass goes back to the point. 49 seconds left in the Red Deer power play. Molson, shot, save, rebound. Another save by Schaefer as the referee lost sight of the puck. And he's going to blow that one dead. As the Red Deer player will argue profusely, but... As always goes in hockey, you can't rewind back and, and resume play. Instead, that'll go into the back pocket of the referee, and he'll put that in his glove box and out at the window on the highway when he gets home. Draw to the right side of Schaefer. 42 seconds left in the Red Deer power play. 5-3 to three Medicine Hat leads. One power play goal each for each team tonight. Bartram, one on four, and he just slowly slides that one down into the Red Deer zone to kill some time. And behind is Bo. 30 seconds left in the Red Deer power play. Puts it up to Stevenson, but that gets cut off nicely by Bartram, who's had himself a game tonight. He's likely going to get some ice cream from Dad after the game tonight. Kapalka. Shakes off Bartram. Throws it in behind Schaefer. He's going to rip it right back around the boards, and that's going to go right outside the zone. Always nice when your goaltender is one of your best penalty killers. When it comes to puck movement, and that's what he has been tonight. 
Vipers will try to enter one more time. Nope, penalty has expired. Both teams at even strength. Vipers are one for five with a man advantage tonight. Shot from the point. Goes off a leg. Another side of the net chance. And easily stopped by Schaefer as the Cubs will send it down. And that would likely be an icing call. No, they might wave that one off. No, nope, they don't. 5.18 left in this third period. 5-3. to three. The Medicine Hat Cubs lead. Stay tuned for post-game interview with uh, head coach Jason Bartram. After the contest, as well as uh, Chat TV's Ty Hudak is going to break dance for us right in front of the camera. Looking forward to that. He did bring his tap dancing shoes tonight, so you never know what kind of skills Ty Hudak can bring. He's one of the most talented men in Medicine Hat. The Red Cliff native. Hard-working cameraman for Chat Television. Kyle Grant through the middle. Up to Heller, and Theory's going to bring it over the blue line. Right off the glass. Oh, and it takes a weird ba- a bounce off the, uh, the partition. Molson will try again. Up to Dennis and still can't get it out of the zone. Now they do. Third time's a charm as Gallopo comes over the boards and gets it up to Heller, who's got a man on him. So he, let's try this again. Pulvermacher now from skate to stick off the glass. A little baseball swing, and the Vipers get it again. A shot nicely deflected away by Schaefer. As textbook as a low pad save as you'll find. Fury has got a man on him. He's able to shake him off now. Left wing pass up to through the zone. Over the blue line for McGuire. Leaves it there for Fury, and the Vipers will retreat. Or Vipers will uh, head up the ice. Einhorn, nice move around the defender. And, uh, however, they're going to call that one a tripping call. Cameron Stock is going to fight that one of the cows come home. But to no avail. Looked like more incidental contact than anything else. Maybe Bart or uh, Stock looked like he may have stuck his legs out, but... Nonetheless, Red Deer will have a glorious opportunity to inch back closer to tying this hockey game up. 5-3, to three, the Medicine Act Cubs lead. 4-17 to 17 left in this third period. Well, the puck is dropped unfairly, so the linesman will do it again. Bartram sends out Funk. As well as Barton, Florkowski. And Colby Sadler on defense. Shot comes from the point. Easily grabbed by goaltender Cole Schaefer. Spent some time in the WHL last year, actually. I called up for one game to back up in the Edmonton Oil Kings. It was a great experience for that young man. Medicine Hat native, whose birthday is actually Remembrance Day, November 11th. Interesting stat for you. As he saves another one. Two goals for Keegan Bartram, two goals for Kyle Funk tonight, and one for Ray Pulvermacher. A shot off the side of the net. Nervous one there. The Vipers with pressure. To the right point. Top of the circle. Looking for the cross-ice pass. That goes wide of the net. Chance in front. and Nice job by Schaefer with the paddle down. As the Cubs will center down the ice to relieve some pressure. 3.45 left in this hockey game. 5-3 the Cubs lead. Kapalka, right wing pass. Now cross ice for Gillette. The best a man can get. He's got two goals tonight. To the right point for Bo. Shot deflected in front. And score! Colton Gillette, a hat trick, is the best that he can get. Power play goal. 3.28 left. Don't go anywhere. We got a hockey game. The unassisted power play goal is going to be for Colton Gillette. Hat trick goal for that young man. Coming into the game, he had a goal and an assist, so heck of a performance tonight. Gillette, the Red Deer native. Cubs still lead 5 to 4. Pulvermacher. In behind, long lead pass up the ice for Bartram. He's got Funk towards the net, two on one. Funk in front, yes! Kyle Funk, don't fake the Funk on a nasty dunk. It's six to four.
Kyle Funk says to Gillette, what you can do, I can do better. Hat trick goal for Kyle Funk. Keegan Bartram with another point tonight as the Cubs have a chance. Kyle Fulkowski and shot and save by Adrian as he tried to deflect it over top. I let Dominic Hashik play. Nonetheless, Cubs put the pressure on. Great response by Jason Bartram's men. 29 seconds after the Vipers come within one. Kyle Funk with a hat trick goal. No hats on the ice tonight. 2.45 left in this contest. As Adrian will swallow that one up. Ty Hudak from Chat Television says that's, I've seen enough. He's on his way out already. One of the busiest men you'll ever find, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause, Ty Hudak. I believe he's single. Draw to the right side of Adrian. Wraparound attempt. Blocks that one. Tries to get it back in front. Kyle Florkowski. Sights on the side. Has it again. Flips it in behind the net. Bernhard on the play. This puck has been bouncing everywhere tonight. More pressure by the Cubs. 2.20 left. Shot in front! Saved by Adrian. Had to be sharp on that one. A broken play. As the puck found its way in front of the net, the Vipers now on the attack. Somehow, 2 on 0. They score! Colton Gillette! Oh my! Razor sharp tonight. 6 to 5. Where did this young man come from? Holy smokes. This is going to be last shot wins tonight, I guess, here at the Kinplex. Six to five. Two minutes left in this hockey game. The Vipers on the attack. Florkowski tries to cut him off. That puck is going to go up into the rafters with a buck 49 left. Six to five is the score. And it's the Colton Gillette and Kyle Funk show tonight. Those two boys are trading blows all night long. Let's the lines will now signal the draw will come outside of the zone. As Bartram leans on the Florkowski line to get him through the last 149. Red Deer 1-1 one one coming into this game. The Cubs are 1-2, undefeated on home ice. On the attack, shot goes on the side of the net. Rebound opportunity for Robertson in front. He can't get there. Florkowski now. Got a man all over him. He shakes him. Another move. Florkowski, he gets tripped up. No penalty call. Look for that Viper's net to be empty very, very soon. Robertson on the blue on a toe drag shot, safe rebound. On the side, Pulvermacher is going to grab it. Adrian is still between the pipes for the Vipers as Pulvermacher leads the charge. He's got Funk towards the net. In front, and a nice defensive play, knocking that one out of the way. 107 left in this hockey game. 6-5, to five, the Cubs lead. Corbett, the toe drag, tries to get out. Two on one now. Two on two it is over the blue line. The Viper shot goes wide. 53 seconds. Adrian is still in net for Red Deer. As Bartram gets it out through center. A defender pulls it down. Keegan Bartram in alone. Save by Adrian. Rebound. And that puck goes over the glass. And out of play. Keegan Bartram. An opportunity for his hat trick goal tonight. The only guy without a hat, without a hat trick is Jason Bartram on the bench. The coach. Of the Medicine Hat Cubs. And it looks like Red Deer will call themselves a timeout. Furious action here at the Kinplex tonight. Thanks for joining us. Dave Dawson from Shaw Television. That's what I do during the week. On the weekend, I have heart attacks in the Kinplex, apparently. But fantastic hockey game that just turned out to be the first period. If you're just joining us, one all was a score. Kind of a game that uh, looked more like a chess match. And then the floodgates opened five goals in the second period. And then four goals in the third. Shot for shot for shot. Both goaltenders have, have been played fairly well, all things considering. Shots are scored 40 to 31 for Red Deer right now. 
who sit one and one with only two games played there in the North Division. Mountain View leads the way in the North with two wins and one loss and four points in the South. Coldale 3-3-1. Three, three, and one. They're the league leaders right now in points because they've played seven games. 3-3-1-1. Three, 3-3-1, three, one, and one. Three, three, and one, I should say. 39 seconds left. Face off to the left side of Adrian. As soon as Coldale brings that uh, radio brings that puck down the ice, you can bet Adrian's on his way out. Nice job cutting that off by Bartram. Instead of taking a shot, he just dumps it behind to kill the clock. The rookie looking like a veteran on that play. And the Vipers now as Adrian leaves the net. Now he tries to. Flokowski cuts it off. Now he does. The Vipers, the extra attacker. 17 seconds left in this game. 6-5, to five, the Cubs lead. Pass in front. Cut off by Bartram. He'll throw that through the neutral zone. 10 seconds left. One last chance for the Vipers as Robertson's going to deflect it in. Four seconds left. Grant back there. Flokowski bumps his man. Put this one in the books. The Madison Hat Cubs are going to win their second game of the year and are still undefeated on home ice and a heart stopper. Six to five over the Red Deer Vipers. As there's more rough stuff after the play. As there always is, Cody Florkowski right in the middle of that, wearing the captain this year, as Jason Bartram said, the coach, earlier in the game, that his captain is going to be prone to making a few of those mistakes, but he wants to give him enough rope and also wants to give him some encouragement. And, man, was there encouragement tonight. On the Medicine Act Cubs side of things, 6-5, to five, they do win over the Red Deer Vipers, improving to 2-2, two and two, Red Deer dropping to 1-2 and two on the season. Jason Bartram will be joining us for a post-game interview very, very quickly. <clears throat> Run through the scoring summary here. And Nabakis had up all the points here. Cody Florkowski announced as the player of the game, even though he didn't score a goal at all tonight. Kyle Funk says, I got a hat trick. What do I got to do to get first star? But arguably, Keegan Bartram, that entire line, Bartram, Funk, and Florkowski all played fantastic. So we await head coach Jason Bartram to come up here for a post-game interview. But, yeah, the story for the Red Deer side was Colton Gillette, four goals. Two power play goals each for each side here tonight. Red Deer and Medicine Hat and coming into the game. Bartram did say that he'd be looking for room to grow and that power play will be making its way. We'll be starting to turn the, turn the corner, but just need time to develop. Give the kids a chance to get a feel for the, the league and 14 rookies on this team. He said it'll be a work in progress, but they'll be, have a lot of speed and a lot of talent. If they can rely heavily on that top line as they did, who accounted for all of the goals tonight for the Medicine Hat Cubs. Let's go over the scoring summary here. Red Deer open up the scoring at 5.08. The goal by number 12 is first, Colton Gillette. The assist to Colton Wieson and Kale LaPointe at 5.08. As I said, the Cubs fired back at 11.10. A goal by Keegan Bartram, his second of the year assist to Kyle Funk and Florkowski. And then the Cubs took the lead. Bartram second of the game from Funk and Florkowski again. 48 seconds into the second period. And then Funk with his first of the game from Florkowski at 3.04. And then Red Deer at the 5.35 marker, just a minute, two and a half minutes after that. Gillette second of the game from LaPointe as well. And then Funk with his second of the game. From Florkowski and Pulvermacker at 13.43. Then with three seconds left in the second period on the power play, Red Deer Vipers. That was a goal that was announced as Eric Moulton will get credited to Chris Robertson at 19.57, making it a 4-3 score. Medicine had opened up on the power play in the third period. Ray Pulvermacker at 11.41 and then... The Vipers battle back with a power play goal of their own. Colton Gillette is hat trick goal at 16:32. Then Kyle Funk said, "Hey, what you can do, I can do better." At 18, at 17:01, the power play goal, the hat trick goal for Kyle Funk. The assist going to Keegan Bartram and Kyle Grant, and then the Red Deer Vipers. After that, 
with their final goal of the contest. Colton Gillette is fourth from Kale LaPointe at 17.51. Two to one, or a two for four on the power play Medicine Hat was, and two for five, two for six make that the Red Deer Vipers were. As we shortly await the uh, post-game interview from head coach Jason Bartram, as uh, Ty Hudak from Chad is talking to him right now, so we'll just hang tight and stay stay with us for the next couple minutes as we wait talking to head coach Jason Bartram, CubsHockey.com. All right, before Jason Bartram comes up, now joined by uh, Stephen Patterson, the head coach of the Red Deer Vipers. And, uh, Stephen, I guess, uh, where does that rank in uh, one of the uh, weirdest games back and forth hockey you've seen in some time? Uh, it was, you know, definitely on our part wasn't uh, a strong game. I thought Medicine Hat definitely, I mean, they got that one, that top line there is very, very strong. Uh, I remember them from last year, you know, they are speedy, they're small, and they definitely get into the forecheck, uh, you know, and they did a lot much better job than all four of our lines did all game. I'm very impressed with their, their play, and, and um, you know, they're going to be a good team, I think, you know, and I, I can't wait for us to the rematch. I think it's in January back home in Red Deer to see what how much they improve as well. So, Colton Gillette had himself a heck of a game, uh, four goals. Was it just a matter of, you know, put the puck on a stick, or was it the bounces that just happened to be there? Just the bounces that happened to be there. Uh, frankly... I'll be honest with you, I don't think some of those ones he deserved, but it was just a matter of being Johnny on the spot with those ones, and uh, I guess that happens sometimes, right? You're a natural goal scorer, you just don't know how they go in, but they just do, you know? So, uh, I, you know, we'll take it, but it's not the what the result we were looking for. So, Can, can you put a finger on where it uh, kind of turned the tide and the game got away from you? Definitely in the second period there, right near the end when they uh, they, they got that the goal, and now, yes, we got that one uh, uh, back coming in to the, the intermission there, but then they killed us with the momentum. Um, the momentum really got killed by, I think, there was their fourth goal down uh, in the, the second period there. We had, we had the play, we had the momentum, and it just... Uh, defensive zone error cost us and that was the uh, I think that was the biggest turning point to, you could just feel the momentum switch from us to them so it was a it seemed like coming into the game size was probably a game plan for yourself right to, to kind of neutralize the game because you have such a size advantage and the speed ended up being uh, what got medicine at this victory uh, yeah I, you know I think we're both uh, matched well it's just I think they wanted it more than we did tonight I really realistically I think uh, if you go back and, and look at uh, what happened I think medicine had just wanted this win and um, you know not to uh, toot our own horn here or be uh, you know cocky or anything but I think there might be a few teams out there that have our number this year as you know we would we did win the north division last year and um, we have you know pretty solid forward core back from what we had uh, last year so it's just a matter I think of, of these guys just don't realize yet how um, you know these other teams are getting up for us it's it's a big thing I'm sure it's the same thing when you guys play Okotosh you know you know you know you got to get up for their games because it's Okotosh right they've been a good team for a few years and uh, so I think until we realize that that everybody wants to beat us um, you know and we're, we're going to struggle this you know we're one and two right now which realistically coming into next week we got Coldale again we got uh, Okotoks and Coldale twice actually in the next couple of weeks so I mean, we're in a, we're in tough right now we're in tough with the next few weeks so uh, hopefully we can get the the ship back on tracks here but thanks for your time Stephen appreciate that thank you very much all right head coach of the Red Deer Vipers Stephen Patterson joins us and his team just just one slips out of their fingertips, 6-5. to five, The Medicine Hat Cubs take this one. And two power play goals for the Medicine Hat Cubs, two for the Red Deer Vipers tonight. Four goals by Colton Gillette as we still await uh, head coach Jason Bartram here. And uh, in the meantime, why don't we just uh, go back to oh, hanging out. What do you want to talk about? Do you want a hug? Ty Hudak is waiting down there and for another interview as well. But Cubs next weekend. What's their, uh, what's their schedule like here? I believe we were saying that... Medicine Hat Cubs are going to be off to Pinoca tomorrow. Next Friday night back here at Three Hills will be in town Friday night, Thanksgiving weekend, Saturday night. They're off to Mountain View at 8 o'clock start. Monday, they uh, will take a visit to Coaldale for the Thanksgiving weekend classic. 2 o'clock will be that time. Red Deer, as uh, Jason alluded to, he's got Coaldale coming up next Saturday night, 8.30 start. Next Sunday, Pinoca, they have uh, Stetler the Sunday 
uh, next Saturday after that part of me, and uh, they got they got some tough games ahead. But uh, Red Deer Vipers played themselves a, a physical game, but weren't able to come out with a victory. The Madison Act Cubs were the victors in this game as we uh, patiently await Jason Bartram. We'll hang out for a little bit more and uh, medicineatcubshockey.com. All right, not able to catch up with uh, head coach Jason Bartram tonight, but Medicine Hat Cubs win 6-5, to five, the final score. Kyle Funk, Hattrick, Keegan Bartram with two goals, and Ray Pulvermacher with uh, one goal tonight. Thanks for joining us, CubsHockey.com. Make sure to join us next Friday night as uh, we get back on the air. When, uh, watch me cheating on my page here. The uh, Mountain View, I believe, is in town. Is that the rumor? Three Hills? Somebody, Three Hills, is in town. There we go. i got a bad memory. But anyway, on behalf of these two fantastic individuals who have been helping me out uh, this evening. I forget your names already. I'm a horrible friend. What are your names? Jim and <laughs> Betsy. Jim and Betsy. I knew it was Jim. I just didn't know Betsy's name. Betsy's running the camera. Jim's running the online stream. Thanks to them. And a thank to you. Thank you to you for watching Medicine Hat Cubs Hockey tonight. 6-5, to five, the final score. Medicine Hat Cubs improved to 2-2 two two on the campaign. Good night from the Medicine Hat Kinplex.